Uh, welcome to the Bahamas. Now we're actually at Siswood for the Marathon Bet Cheltenham preview. I've got Josh and Tom alongside me and hopefully I get you a few winners. <laughs> So welcome to Marathon Bet, our big Cheltenham preview. This is the Wednesday, which for me is a difficult day's racing. We're going to look at the RSA chase. Um, Josh, again, I don't know, maybe Santini might be favourite, going off favourite there. Yeah, I, I, I am a big fan of Santini. When he won at Newbury at the Hennessy meeting, I, I thought he was very impressive. And then they, at Kempton at, at Christmas Day, I don't think he was at his best throughout the race. He came home very strongly. I think stiff three miles around Cheltenham will suit him well and, and I think he's a very worthy favourite ahead of Delta Work who, mm. who looks the ov obvious second pick of the race you know. Top of the game was another one I looked at Tom I don't know if you've, um, you know you think that he, he might be in the shake up. Yeah I think the first three in the market in the race and I take nothing away from anything else but I think the first three in that are going to be there or thereabouts bang at the last but I have to agree with, with Josh he was impressive around Newbury Different track, Kempton, um, and I think I think Cheltenham will suit him a lot more. So I'm how, how important is it that you're going into this race? You know, the horse is a has has won at Cheltenham before, and B is in good form coming into it. As in, won his last race. Is that imperative or not? Yeah, I definitely think course form is can be key around Cheltenham, and especially you you like to see a bit of recent form, but. I, th I think as much as anything at Cheltenham, that extra bit of class. So Santini, Santini as Santini. well. I'll go top of the game, I'll go each way. And that was the RSA chase. Okay, let's look at the 4.10 on the Wednesday, the cross country chase. Cracker, if you've not been to Cheltenham, you're listening and you're going for your first time, go out in the middle of the course, it is special. And there's a couple of special horses in here, including Tiger Roll, of course, Grand National winner. Short, though, he's going to be a short favourite here. Does he deserve to be? 100% deserves to be that short, but short-priced horse in a cross-country chase is a bit of a risk in itself, I think. I, I, I can't see him getting beat um, as long as nothing silly happens, which he might do in a race like that. Yeah. Um, the one I would be interested in is Auvigny for Ender Bolger. He's a master of the race. Yes. That horse has improved massively since he started taking on these cross-country races. What do you think, Tom? <laughs> Look, Tiger Roll. I, th I think, I think he's there, there to win the race. Uh, five to four. I don't think there's much value. Um, it's very competitive. You've got the likes of Josie Orders, the one the other day, coming in great form. Uh, Ultra Gold. That's going to adapt to fences. A former top and winner, like Josh says. But you've got even fact the matter. If the ground keeps drying out, if we keep getting the weather we have. Mm. He came into his own. I know he was only really a summer jumper before, but he's he, he he's run two solid races in 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 the um, build up to this in the cross country. And I think if the ground keeps drying out, they can't water the inside. I think he might be an each way bet at sixteen to one. Good show. Um, so tea for two. I don't normally drink tea at Cheltenham, but uh, that's Lizzie Kelly, isn't it? She'll yeah, probably yeah. take the ride. Lizzie, Lizzie rides him. Um, he's a he's a class horse. That's one thing worth bearing in mind. He he's a former Gold Cup runner, at least you know and. He wasn't good enough to win a Gold Cup, but he, he ran well in some of them. And when them horses drop down in grade, it can be a massive help yeah. for them. So you're going Tiger Roll? I can't see him getting beat, but Auvigny is second pick. Tom? I'm going to go with something a bit of value. I'm going to say Josie's orders. Josie's orders. I'm, uh, what time's the race? 4.10. I'll probably be doing my brain. So Tiger Roll for me to try and get my dough back. Place a single bet of up to £20 on Tuesday, Wednesday or Thursday of the Cheltenham Festival and received a match free bet for the Friday. Use the promo code CHELT, C-H-E-L-T 20. 